I welcome you to the session. Today we are going to have an outlook regarding the second unit, what is financial management. Financial management is that a part of managerial process which is concerned with the planning and controlling of firm's financial resources. So financial management will deal with the planning and controlling of firms, firms financial resources as well as procure, procurement of funds from the most suitable sources and making the most efficient use of such funds. In the earlier stage, financial management was a branch of economics and later on it has been separated as a, uh, new, uh, separated as a new subject of a recent origin. The subject is of immense importance to the manager because among the most crucial decisions of the firms are those which relate to finance because without finance a business cannot be run and at the same time business uh, finance plays uh, is a lifeblood of the uh, business where the manager has to decide and he has to plan and control how to carry on the firm for further stage let us see the meaning and definition of financial management as I said, financial manager management is a vital and integral part of the business management. It refers to that part of managerial activity which is concerned with planning and controlling of financial resources of enterprise. It deals with rising finance for the enterprise and the efficient utilization of such finance. So meaning of financial management is nothing but you have two points in your mind that is it is a vital thing for the business second thing it helps to plan and control the financial resource of an enterprise and procurement of finance from the suitable sources next let us discuss about the definition of financial management which is given by joseph l massey Financial management is the operational activity of a business that is responsible for obtaining and effectively utilizing the funds necessary for efficient operation. The same thing he has been uh, given that it is a effective utilization of funds. See, uh, finance is the lifeblood of the business. At the same time, the finance should be managed properly. If not, it is not possible to run the business in a good manner. So procurement of finance and managing the finance in a proper way only will able to run your business. So uh, you have to be very cautious in managing your finance in your company. So this financial management paper is very important for all the budding managers. Let us see the objective of financial management. The objective of financial management is uh, very simple. You can know it very well. Mainly we conduct the uh, business for two things. One is for profit and for wealth. Here the main objective of financial management is profit maximization and wealth maximization. Okay, let us see what is profit maximization in depth. Profit maximization as per the approach it is the activity which increases the profit profit undertaken and which decrease the profit should be avoided so profit maximization deals with increasing uh, increase of the profit in the business and it rejects the decrease of the profit profit maximization implies that the uh, that the financial decision making should be guided by only one test which is selected those asset projects and decision which are profitable and reject those which are not next wealth maximization as the term itself denotes wealth means value maximization or net present worth maximization it is universally accepted as an appropriate criterion for making financial decision as it removes all the limitation of profit maximization approach it is also known as net present value that means maximization of wealth 
According to this approach, the worth of an asset is measured in terms of benefits received from its use less the cost of its acquisition. Next, we are going to uh, see about time value of money. The term itself denotes time value of money. That means the value of a unit of money is different in different time periods. The value of sum of money received today is more than its value received after some time. Conversely, the sum of money received in future is less valuable than it is today. In other words, the present worth of a rupee received after some time will be less than a rupee received today. For example, 100 rupees is more valuable 10 years back, but today the 100 rupees value is like 10 rupees. Let us see the reason for this. It may be the three reasons may be attributed to the individual time preference for money is risk, preference for conception, investment opportunities. Under time value of money, we have uh, two things that is discounted uh, technique and uh, compound technique. Under discount technique, you are going to uh, see the present value concept. Present value concept is nothing but the future value of money will be given. You have to find out the present value of the money. So under present value of money, we have present value of series of cash flows, present value of simple flow present value of an annuity. Future value, under future value, the, uh, you will be, uh, you will be, uh, be finding the future value of the money. The present value will be given and rate of interest will be given. You have to find out the value of the money for the future. That is called compounding or future value concept. Under this concept, we have compound value of single flow multiple period compounding or future value, compounded value of series of cash flow, compounded value of an annuity. Thank you for watching this video.